Hi everyone. So in this video, you will learn how you can display date and time in JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Add the script file at the end. That is script.js. We need one button. Text will be show. And we also need one h1 element. Text will be result. We'll basically display the date and time here. We'll use style attribute and make the text align center. Save it. Open this file in the browser just to see the output. Let's start working on the script file and select these two elements. So it will be BT and show. Select the actual element, we'll give it output. Add event listener to the button. Event will be click. This will be the handler function. To get the current date, we have to make use of date object. So let's call it today new date to get the month we have a method available that is get month to get the year we have a method available today dot get full year to get the current date we have a method available today get date This get month method will basically return a number which will be in between 0 and 11. So 0 means January, 1 means February and so on. So if I want to get the current month, I need to add plus 1 here. Now let's form the date. I'll call it current date. I'll make use of backticks here just to form the string. First of all, we'll have the month here, then a slash, then we'll have the date, and then we'll have the year. To display it, we'll make use of output dot inner text equal to current date. Just save it, go to browser, click and this is the current date now let's try to get the time comment out this let's call it hours to get the current hour i have to make use of get hours function let's pick it seconds this function get seconds but before that we have to get the minutes Also, there is a method get minutes. But I want hours, minutes, and seconds to always have two digits. So, in case the value is less than 10, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I want to prepend 0. For that, I need to create a function here that will be function at 0. It will take a numerical value and simply prepend a 0 to it if it is less than 10. So let's return that value here. So if num is less than 10, I'll add a zero to it. Otherwise, I will return it like this. So now we need to make use of this function here. It will be add zero and pass the value here. Same goes here, also here, let's form the time, so it will be current time, we'll have hours here, we'll have minutes here, and we'll have seconds here.
I'll just copy this part and paste it and it will be current time I just save it go to browser click and this is the current time and you can see we are getting two digits here instead of one if I will not use that method at zero I will get one colon 52 colon 43 I hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day